Well hello there everybody and welcome to the latest video. Today we're talking about PlayStation 1 games. You all remember that brilliant console from back in the day. I grew up playing games on this console and it is like the the golden era of gaming uh, before DLC and microtransactions and all that lot. When you bought a game, you bought a game on this thing and some of the best games of all time were produced for this console. Today, I'm going to be talking about a brilliant emulator called Duck Station that I've been using recently to upscale these games to 4K with amazing results on a lot of games and not so great on other ones. So I'm going to go through 10 of the best games by Games Radar for PS1 and show you what they used to look like and what they can look like being upscaled in Duck Station. And there's a couple of nice honourable mentions at the end from myself as well, which I think are not only great games, but are upscaled extremely well on this emulator. Um, yeah, if you like this video enough, please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, you know what I mean? Hit 1,000 subs recently, and I'm going to be putting videos out on a regular basis about all kinds of things. Much love, and let's get into the video. First of all, then, in 10th place, we have Tekken 3, the premier fighting game on PS1. Well remembered by a lot of people, and uh, this is what it looks like running its original settings, um, within the emulator anyway. This is not running on real hardware. Um, this game is honestly fantastic. One or two player as Tekken Force mode, Tekken Ball mode, lots of great characters. And this is what it looks like upscaled. And wow, that is a giant, that is a giant leap forward. And uh, I don't think I'd be playing this um, in its original resolution anymore. Not now I've seen how it looks um, upscaled to 4K. It looks brilliant. And you do get the best results out of um, like 3D polygon based games. Okay. In ninth place, then we have Worms Armageddon now. I spent countless hours playing this as a kid um, single player and multiplayer there's a lot to see here it's a brilliant game but the problem is it's aged terribly and also like the problem i mentioned earlier as you'll see right now as i switch over to the upscaled version you really don't get a lot of gains out of the upscaling on 2d based games you can see it still looks pretty pixelated um, and i would just recommend playing one of the newer worms games maybe weapons of mass destruction or one of the other newer ones well worms world party remastered something like that you know it's a bit of a shame that this one doesn't upscale too good but it is what it is okay in eighth place then we have the playstation's premier sim racer gran turismo 2 now when this game first released and i saw this as a kid I was absolutely blown away by these graphics, um, even looking at them in these original resolution settings. Now, this game still plays very well, it's still a lot of fun, and uh, just have a look how this looks, 4K upscaled. Now, forced widescreen on this as well, and look how crisp that is. I know the PlayStation has draw distance, like, not issues as such, but the draw distance isn't that high, but this game still looks pretty good. Um, modern day, I will be honest, I've seen other races that arguably don't even look as good as this. Um, so, yeah, I'd highly recommend playing this one on the emulator upscaled if you're going to revisit this one. In seventh place, then, we have Parappa the Rapper. Now, this was never one of my favourite games. I got this game way, way back. It's kind of like timing based, kind of like rhythm based game. Um, the original resolution for this back in the day would have been brilliant but it now absolutely sucks but upscaled i mean look how crisp this looks upscaled and obviously the cartoony aesthetic the 2d kind of paper mario-esque graphics to the characters and that really really shines while upscaled that looks really really good so if you do plan on revisiting this this emulator duck station is the place to do it in sixth place then we have silent hill the original silent hill for ps1 now this game succeeded in scaring the living daylights out of me numerous times as a kid and i'm sure the entire series has um freaked a lot of people out over the years now as you can see the original graphics for this do not hold up well at all but luckily all the objects in the game are 3d rendered so we'll look at the upscaling and look at this it's fantastic and i will say to you right now um, upon loading this up in this 4K uh, upscaled mode, 
I actually played a good hour of this. I was like, <laughs> it actually really set me back on my recordings. I was having that much fun with it. And I'm going to continue that save as well because... Uh, I want to play through this game again now. Now it looks like this. It is fantastic. In fifth place then we have Twisted Metal 3. Now this is an awesome car battling game. And uh, I played loads of this as a kid. And uh, I haven't played this for a long time. But just making this video I was on a real nostalgia trip. And uh, as soon as I upscaled this to 4K as you can see here. Uh, I was hooked again. This game is so playable, so addictive. And uh, yeah, this is the emulator to do it. Yeah, no doubt for sure, this is the place. In fourth place, then, we have an entry from one of the most famous and popular survival horror franchises, and that's Resident Evil 2 on PS1. Obviously not the modern-day remake, but this is the original OG Resident Evil 2. And um, back in the day, this game looked fantastic. The pre-rendered backgrounds... Um, and the character models fit in really well. Now, the problem is with the upscaling, as you can see right here, um, the character models do not match up well with them pre-rendered backgrounds. They can't be upscaled, but the 3D models can, and it just looks borderline comical. Um, I'd recommend just playing the remake or play the original like this on the low-resolution settings, and then everything blends in properly. Yeah, brilliant game, just doesn't upscale well, not aged well um, for emulating modern day. Hmm. In third place then we have one of the most revered extreme sports franchises out there and that's the Tony Hawk's series, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. And we're talking about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 for the PS1 of course. Now this game honestly is one of the best games of all time on Metacritic and uh, there's no surprise why. This game is absolutely fantastic. The soundtrack shaped my musical tastes for you know up to present day basically i still love the original tracks on this um the graphics upscale really well and i played a good few levels of this i was literally hooked again upon playing this um if you haven't seen it already there is actually a mod for tony Hawk underground 2 for pc which um is called thug pro and i've done a video on that before i'll link it down below where it adds all these levels in the tony Hawk underground 2 engine so i'd much recommend um, playing them uh, like that rather than the original Tony Hawk's 2 but that's just my own preference still a brilliant game excellent on this emulator highly recommended let's move on in second place then we have Metal Gear Solid this one needs very little introduction but I'll do it anyway um, this game revolutionized uh, storytelling and action and stealth and a whole load of other things within games this is the original PS1 Metal Gear Solid. Now, this game honestly has so much nostalgia for me. And um, as you can see as I switch it over now, look how well this upscales. I'm really tempted to play this again as well on this emulator. Um, I may even do a long play of that. Let me know down below if you want to see a long play of Metal Gear Solid 1. This game's fantastic. If you're going to play the PS1 original, Duck Station is the emulator to do it. Look at this, fantastic, atmospheric, and I'd even go as far as saying masterpiece as well. You know, what more can be said about this game? Honestly, it is so, so good. And in first place we have, according to Games Radar, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, this is one of the best um, rated games of all time. Not personally one of my favourites, I definitely want to put this probably in the top 10 in all honesty but you know I know a lot of people love this game to present day and um, you know a lot of games have been based upon this you know Castlevania and Metroid literally spawned their own genre called Metroidvania and this is known to be one of the best types of them games um, as you can see the original graphics you know don't look too bad but then obviously upscaling them all the sprites sharpen up and obviously the 3d effects get um, drastically improved so if you are going to play this game duck station is the place to do it upscale it to whatever resolution your monitor will support i'm sure you'll have a great time especially if you used to play this back in the day all that nostalgia will sink in there it is then that is the top 10 list according to games radar but i could not let a few of my honorable mentions go by without showing them off upscaled now Let's just start off with Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. I mean, how can a PlayStation Top 10 list not have a Crash Bandicoot game in it? I do not know, and Crash 3 Warped is the best one. It has the most levels, the most variety. 
Brilliant game, brutally difficult in places, extremely playable. And look how this upscales on the emulator as well. The cartoony graphics really do this upscaling a giant favour as well. I know that there's been remasters of this, um, but obviously the original has the nostalgia. This game is honestly fantastic, and I'd highly recommend playing it on this emulator. Upscale it, stick all the all the hacks and everything on it for, you know, graphical fixes and graphical upgrades. You're going to have a brilliant time. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Another honourable mention from me then, another Crash game, but not a platformer. This is Crash Team Racing on the PS1 now. This game is so, so good. And honestly, I forgot how good this was. I've been a bit of a Mario Kart fan the past few years, but this is really, really good. This was originally released to take on Mario Kart 64 and give PlayStation its own kart racer, and it holds up all on its own. No comparisons need to be made to Mario Kart. This is a good standalone kart racing game that's also had a remaster recently, but look how well this upscales on the emulator. Extremely playable and... Um, Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to even uh, try this on Parsec and play this online with some friends sometime as well. Yeah, honestly, I'm going to be playing this a lot on this emulator, no doubt about that. Next up then, we have Driver 2. Now, I really don't understand how a PS1 top 10 list doesn't have a Driver game in it, and Driver 2 is the best. Now, honestly, I spent so much time on this. This was like the precursor to the 3D open world GTA games. This was set on PS1 as well, across four cities, um, loads of different cars. You could get out your car in this one as well. Um, basically like GTA 3 before GTA 3 even released. Um, this game is fantastic. I love it, I really do. The only problem is um, that the draw distance is absolutely terrible on this game, but the upscaling does it some great favors. You know, I'm I'm very tempted to play this again. This Duck Station emulator, I can't sing its praises enough. It's so easy to use, so user-friendly, and does games a lot of justice. Just like this one. Just a shame about the, uh, the draw distance, that's all. Okay, next. Another all-time classic series, then, that seems to have been forgotten by Games Radar. Um, I was very, very um, unsure which one to pick out of Tomb Raider 2 and 3, and I've gone with Tomb Raider 3. This is the one that I played the most, like... Back in the day, um, it has more features, it has vehicles and that. I know Tomb Raider 2 had vehicles, but Tomb Raider 3 has the quad bike. And, you know, you can't beat the quad bike on this game. Um, it upscales really, really well. The only problem is the controls are a little bit dated, but still a lot of fun to play. And, um, you know, I remember these levels and just by doing these recordings i had to remember where some of the secrets are from like 20 years ago playing this game on the ps1 and i'm so happy i've decided to run this on duck station you know i'm I want, it's another one of them games where i'm tempted i might have to like play through this again just for nostalgia's sake you know but i'd highly recommend playing it on this emulator look how fantastic this looks and for the last of my honourable mentions then, I'm going to be talking about a game that holds a special place in my heart, and that is Smackdown 2 Know Your Role. <laughs> um, this game, wrestling game of course, um, back when the WWE was called the WWF. Um, yeah, that's how old this game is, but this is honestly so much fun to play. And um, just look at PS1 Rock, I mean that looks amazing. Um, <laughs> Character models have come a long way. Um, but yeah, I've, I've had a lot of fun playing this. And I mean, look at the people's elbow. This game upscales perfectly as well. Just look how good this looks. You know, for a PS1 game, I mean, these games are what? 20, 25 years old? How incredible does this look? Honestly, this game is fantastic. Highly recommended by me to play this. You know, you won't, you can't go wrong with this. It's probably the best wrestling game ever made, in my opinion. And that just about wraps up the video. Thank you all for watching. That's uh, very much appreciated. If you haven't subbed already, please do. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, please let me know. And that we're talking about top 10s for emulators, upscaling, installation guides. You know, hit me up down below. Honestly, I'm happy to take on board ideas for videos and things. And um, yeah, much love everybody. I'll catch you all again real soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.